Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. Don't have to leave this town to see the world. Cause there's something that I gotta do. I don't want to look back in 30 years. And wonder who you're married to. Want to say it now. Want to make it clear. For only you and God to hear. When you love someone, they say you set them free. But that ain't gonna work for me. I don't want to live without you. I don't want to even breathe. I don't want to dream about you. Want to wake up with you next to me. I don't want to go down any other road now. I don't want to love nobody but you. Look into your eyes now. If I had to die now, I don't want to love nobody but you. All the wasted days, all the wasted nights. I blame it all on being young. Got no regrets because they got me here. But I don't want to waste it's another, another one. one. I've, I've been thinking, thinking about what I want in my life. And it begins and ends with you. Sin. With if, you. I, if I had to choose what I couldn't, couldn't lose, there'd <laughs> only be one thing. I don't want to live without you. I don't want to even breathe. I don't want to dream about you. Want to wake up with you next to me. I don't want to go down any other road now. I don't want to love nobody but you. Looking in your eyes now, if I had to die now. I don't want to love nobody but you. Love nobody but you. I don't think we should sing it anymore. Okay. Today. That was acapella, first time ever. Hey guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Say hi, besties. Hi, besties. Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> Cleaning the house. <laughs> Cleaning up from the wedding. Okay, so that was our that was our first duet the day on our wedding night. We sang that. Yeah, did a better job than we just long. did for you guys. Sorry, but um, um, it's such a pretty song. But we did it acapella. I have chores to do. I'm, you have chores to do. I know. He's gonna let me get my house. Say goodbye, I'll be, besties. I'll be You'll come in back. And out. Yep. Come back in and say in and hi to him. Okay, so it's Saturday. It's holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. We got a shopping haul. So listen, I still am making the video for you guys for the wedding. So don't worry, that is coming out. Um, it just takes a lot of time. And obviously, we've been super busy. And I went back to work full time. So there's that. And we're cleaning. Can you tell? By the way, I had the backwards hat on first. And then he copied me. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so... Okay, I got to remind you guys of a few things because I've been so, so sporadic because of the wedding. But remember, we still have a subscribers challenge. And this month was to make something for a child to donate somewhere for a child. And it could be a gift basket full of stuff for a child. Like, you know, at churches, they'll do the Christmas trees and there'll be a list uh, hanging on the tree of stuff that a child needs. So wh however you perceive this, it's our community thing to give back from this channel and we're all doing it. So that's our subscribers challenge. Just don't forget to send me what you did and pictures of what you did on the last uh, for th on the last Saturday of the month via Facebook. Okay, um, if you're new to the cha this channel, welcome. I hope you stick around. Effingham, say, say welcome. Mm, that was his hello. Um, Effingham is gonna be naked here in just a few minutes because we're switching him over to something else. Holidays, maybe? Maybe his cute little Christmas outfits. He might have a couple. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, but again, if this is your first time here, you should know one thing. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. Now, I understand that the Dollar Tree is changing. So my slogan usually is, and why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people, a dollar. But apparently, they are upping their prices, and a lot of things are going to be a buck and a quarter. So it's going to be... Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything's a buck and a quarter. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. It'll eventually like either ring in my ear and I'll like it. I don't know. Somebody told me to say buck and a quarter. And now I can't remember who that was. I'm sorry. I am still reading your comments and I am going to back up and answer some of those. And heart. Anyway, I just, it's going to take me all day basically to do that. So one of these nights or, or a couple of evenings, I will sit down and do that. But just know I am reading them all. All right. So today you've landed on holla for your dollar haul, holla 
Play a dollar haul. I have an array here. It's not a huge haul. Um, and depending upon how long it takes, I might add some stuff in because I did go to the Dollar Tree yesterday also. And I have a few things from there. So I might just throw them in. Let's just see how we go. All right. So I randomly have some fall things in this Dollar Tree haul. What? Because if you go in, there's still some fall stuff left. I thought about it. Like, oh, Thanksgiving is still a week away. No. At this point, it's four days away. Well, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, when I went into the Dollar Tree, it was still a week away. So I guess. But I found something I'd never seen before, and that's the only reason I purchased this. I need nothing more for fall. I didn't use all of my fall decorations this year. And so I am um, I'm thinking, like, I'll just I'm bought them, and I'm throwing them in for next year. I think next year I'm going to do a whole retro... Um, uh, hi, babe. I'm going to do retro um, crafts and use all the stuff from last year. Maybe. I don't know. It's a thought. All right. But first, I found these rub-on transfers. I hadn't seen these, you guys. And they're really cool. Look at these beautiful leaves on this rub-on transfer here. Then check out these. I just love it. I love that little bird. Like, now I'm, it's a bird. See, he doesn't scream fall to me. I could put him on a birdhouse and he'd be cute. And actually, I really love the back. They give you some ideas on using some of these things. So I kind of like that. But this was just my favorite. I'm in love with these pumpkins. Absolutely love them. Love them, love them. Now, it's so funny. I did all these fall crafts this year, and I didn't decorate for fall really at all. I put some of the crafts out that I made, but I didn't decorate. And that's because we had the wedding coming up. So I'm kind of excited next year when I get out my fall stuff, it's going to be like, wow, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I don't remember this when I decorate my house. And then I'll actually do videos when I decorate my house next year. That didn't happen this year because of the wedding. And it didn't happen last year because we had just moved in so the house wasn't done. So next year, I'll be adding in, like, decorate with me and decorate my house. Just an FYI. Um, so those are good. these are all going in the bin for next year. But then there's these. And I was like, wow. Okay, so this is these are those ones that have the beads on it. We love the beads on there. And this one says, happy fall. So I don't, I don't particularly like um, the look of this. I think it should be three-dimensionalized, but that's okay. I bought them um, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. And then all year long, I dream of autumn. So if you guys remember last Saturday, was it Saturday or was it Tuesday? Because I think Tuesday I did a small haul, right? And I didn't do a Thursday video. Sorry, guys. So last Tuesday, I hauled an easel. It was the car haul with Zane. That's right. And, and I said, like, you could put the easel up and keep it up all year long and just switch out things. And this is kind of like what I was seeing as something that you would switch out with. So the signs that have the beads on it like this, I think, are perfect because you could put a little hook on the top of the easel or even the middle leg of the easel that you could hang this off of. I'm not sure. I'd have to play with it. But I was thinking things like this when I thought of that. So um, anyway, all year long, I dream of autumn. So these are cute I'm probably going to actually put these in my normal craft supplies because I don't think I'm going to keep them as autumn. Maybe one. I, this is my least favorite. I don't know why. I just don't like it. And there's like, it's like the planks in the back of that. I'm not taking them out of the plastic because I don't want to ruin them. All right. That was it for fall. Let's move on to Christmas. So I did find some Christmas things brand new for me. And I was like, oh, I love those. All right. So. I did not buy a bunch of their village stuff. I do not want to. I'm not going to get in that. I still have all my fairy garden stuff that I never made the stuff with. So I'm not going to do that. So instead, I'm just buying a few little things that I want for a Christmas tear tray. I never got my fall tear tray done because of the wedding. So I swear I'm getting a Christmas tear tray done. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I did pick this one up specifically for my tear tray. So I love this. I think it's just really cute. You know, we love the, the trucks. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take my fine point Sharpie and define this a little bit more, or maybe my glass marker. I'm going to define the the shadow it up a little bit because um, I think it would look way better. That's it. That's the only thing I bought in there. It's their cobblestone corners, their village stuff. And then I found these two guys, which these ones I think are cute. Tear tray for sure. Just sit them on your tear tray with their legs hanging hanging off. So here's the thing. If you watch Bargain Mama, you know my friend Amy. She has her channel, Bargain Mama. Bargain Mama did some scarecrows that she made shelf sitters. She tells the whole story about going to Walmart, putting it in her basket, and then taking it out, and then making her shelf sitters. I gotta say, I love Amy's storytelling. And she made these really cute um, uh, 
Scarecrow shelf sitters. Boy, say shelf sitters. Shelf sitters, shelf sitters. Yeah, you know what you end up saying. Oh my gosh. Okay, well anyway, um, when I saw these, I was like, so I don't want to use them as ornaments. I'm going to make them little tear tray sitters. So I was looking at the back of this and I'm thinking, I actually think it would be fairly easy for me to just <laughs> do a little surgery on, <laughs> on my gnome. Um, and put some rock in it. I was trying to like, look at the, like, can I get in this? Oh my gosh, you guys. I can get in the top without undoing anything. So if you pull back the hat, see that? So I can, I can put some rocks in there and shake him down and make him a little shelf sitter. That'll be a totally easy Tuesday one, by the way. And then I can just sit him on, on my tear tray. Like how cute, right? So I also think that these can use a little more to them. Um, like for instance, I want to take little beads and put like a button on their, on, on their things. I might put a couple, a little lacy thing, like to lace up their shoes, a pom pom on here. I'd probably trim out the hat a little bit and maybe put something in their hands, right? Look, we could glue something in their hands. So lots of little cute little things that you can do for totally easy Tuesday, which I will be doing with these. Um, and there was two. Did I show them both to you? There may be more. These are just the two that I found. So there's some really good ideas for these guys. Then, um, they have these tags. So interesting because we all make tags out of the stuff that they sell us and they sell the bigger tags and we put two of them together. Well, they must watch all of us do our crafts because then they came out with these three. These are smaller. So interesting. One is longer than the other. This one, for some reason, it's two different colors. Don't like that. That's okay. I bought the three of them to show you. So I don't know why it's two different colors, but for these, these are phenomenal little things to add to a gift basket. So here's why, let me just show them to you first. So this one says Merry Christmas. I don't like that it's two different colors, I don't know why. I love Happy Holidays with the Buffalo Chuck and Holly and Jolly, I really like, I like these two best. So you take it, you make a gift basket. Like if you're not making gift baskets from the Dollar Tree, you absolutely should because you can make amazing gift baskets for so inexpensive. And then you wrap your gift basket all up, they sell the gift basket, um, um, cellophane thingamabobbers, right? They they sell those, it's, what are they called? Gift basket bags, the clear gift basket bags, right? And um, they even sell the ones that you can shrink with your um, blow dryer. I don't like to do that. I don't like that look. I think it looks like a drugstore gift basket when you shrink it, so I don't do that. I like it all foofy, like homemade looking. But then tie this on it, here's your card. And on the back you write, to the Joneses have a holly jolly christmas and then you know from whoever it works amazing as a gift tag for something like that okay so i love these they're also great on wreaths right just stick it on a wreath so cute and then um and i don't know what i'm gonna do with this one because it has the two different colors i'll figure it out maybe i'll put it on a gift basket i think it'd still be fine then there's this i love this i just love this i want to put it on something that says welcome I also thought about making it like a little, um, like I can make it a year round thing except it has snow on it. No, I can't. Anyway, I just love it. I think it's super cute. Tear tray, yeah. Like I feel like you could just get a little welcome sign. This is pretty tchotchke by the way, you guys. There's wreath on here, look at all that glue. So I would probably fix this up, take off the bow, put a better bow on it, and then maybe a little tiny little sign that says welcome, just a handwritten one or something. I'm not sure, maybe make a little snowman out of three pearls to add into it. There's all kinds of things. Maybe just add some ornaments, but I'm gonna make this a really cute little ornament. And the thing about these is that I, I will probably paint the back of this, I'll use chalk paint, and then write a personal message for this year. Maybe it's first Christmas together for us. Or maybe again, it's something that you use as a tag for somebody else and put into this. If somebody's getting moving into a new home around the holidays, this is absolutely perfect to give, you know, welcome for, for your new first home together, whatever. I don't know. Did I give you enough ideas? I hope so. All right, now, this one's really outside the box. So I hope you guys appreciate this for what it is. Listen, there are lots of Santa Clauses that we buy. Every year, there's Santa Claus this, Santa Claus that. And Santa Claus always looks the same, doesn't he? Now we're seeing some diversity in Santa, which is great. I mean, like... Um, I don't happen to be African-American, but if I was, I think I'd be painting all my Santas. So I saw this one and I was like, I'm doing one. I'm going to make an African-American Santa out of this. So, um, I just think it's really perfect. I hope nobody's offended by that because I think it's actually a really cool idea. 
I have a granddaughter who's half African American and I want to start doing some making her some Christmas stuff that's representative of her. Yeah. Anyway, so I saw this and I was like, that's going to be perfect. Does anybody else see it? See my vision? I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, it'd be really cute because I'll put the beard on. I'll put a little rosy cheeks in here. This is all wonky too, the hat part. I got to fix that anyway. So um, I hope you see this. It's going to be super cute when I do it. And I think it's really outside the box. I don't think anybody's doing that. I don't think anybody thinks outside the box quite like I do. It's okay. These are large berries, in case you didn't know. Uh, I just think these are really pretty. And they've got, like, the faux snow on them. I just think these are absolutely stunning. So, definitely could go to your tray. Get a little glass, one of their little trivet things. Twirl the ends of these. Like, wrap it around something and make it a curly Q end and put it on there. You could also fold them over and double it up more like a cherry stem, but these are just super cute. I don't know when I'm going to use them in yet. They're just part of my Christmas supplies. All right. You know, I love the box tops that they sell. I call them their box top signs because they're the, because it's like a box top, right? So this one, they have multiples of these different, I mean, um, multiple styles. I only got one because it's the only one I really liked. And that was this one. Just think it looks very vintage, very cute. What did I do? I bought two because what am I going to do? What I do with all of these. And you know I love these. And I think they come out so amazing. I don't think anybody, I think I'm the only one doing this too. Like, have you guys seen anybody else do this on YouTube? I've never seen it. And I do it with every one of their box signs because I think they're so cool. It makes like this box sign that you can, you know, put anywhere. And it's good on a, on a table. It's good from either side. And you don't have to hang it on the wall. Like how many... Holiday decorations can you hang on a wall? Seriously, how many? I just realized I have to pull my egg bake out of the oven. They just realized that. Okay, so you guys know I was talking to you about all of this food left over from the wedding. So I had all this food left over from the wedding and I will not waste food. So I did all these. Oh no, don't smoke. <laughs> well, Um, I did, uh, like we had fruits and vegetables and cheeses and hummus and shrimp cocktail and euros. It was just, it was a lot of really good food. So then afterwards, you know, when you have chopped up vegetables, you have lots, lots of chopped up vegetables left over. So what I did was his sister and brother-in-law brought us six dozen eggs. They raised chickens. So I made, um, and somebody asked me what egg cups were, but I made egg cups and I made egg pies, like a quiche almost. So the egg cups. Well, these are kind of messy. This is the last of them. Egg cups look like this. They're like a cupcake, but egg. So I'm going to tell you what I did. I took all the veggies that I had left over. So euros call for red onions. So we had a lot of red onions left over. And my dear friend, Allison, cut them all up for me. Amazing. I have to get her thank you. So I chopped up red onions, broccoli, um, bell peppers. Uh, what else was in there? Broccoli, bell peppers, onions. There's something else in there. I can't remember now. And I like fried them, I stir fried them all up. Like, you know, I fried them up, cooked them up. And then I just whipped up a dozen eggs and then I throw a bunch of that stuff in and then you pour it into um, a muffin tin, like a, you know, cupcake tin, muffin tin. What do you call them? It's really dirty, I can't pull out of the sink. You know, cupcake tin. So I pour it in there and then I cook it for approximately 30 minutes. And then, oh, before I put it in the oven, we had all this leftover cheese cubes, right? bought cheese cubes to serve. So I would throw three cheese cubes inside of it. So it's, this one looks a little sloppy, but see there's cheese inside of them. Then what I do, I freeze them, pull them out in the morning, heat them up for him, give him his hot sauce that I bought from the Dollar Tree. It's an amazing breakfast. But I also made like egg bake pies, which is what I just pulled out here. This is an egg bake pie. Can you guys, let me show you this one. Cause I just pulled it out of the, oh, yeah. I just pulled it out of the oven. He's like, what does it have to do with the Dollar Tree haul? Yeah, cause I just pulled it out to so explain it. Somebody asked me about the egg, the egg bakes. So on the pie, all I did was we had all this Euro bread left over too. So I put a little butter in the bottom of the pan. I put the Euro bread and we have hummus. We had um, red bell, bell pepper hummus left over. So I put hummus down on the bottom of it, put my egg stuff in, bunch of cheese. How good is it, Marcus? Mm-mm good. Really likes it. So then we're cutting it up and we freeze it. I've got food breakfast for him for a long time. So we were really, really, really conscientious about not wasting any food and freezing and so on and so forth because I'm not a waster. Okay, 
back to my story about the haul. Um, so I only bought this one. I totally love it. It's vintage. And I'm going to make one of my really cute um, holiday box decorations. Found the skis. I love these. I think these are adorable. They're so cute. This one's broken. His, his end came off. It's fine. I have it. Um, again, I think these would just be super cute in a wreath. So if you happen to have a cabin in the winter time, like just to put the three of them, I would take them and put all, I can't hold all three of them, but I would put all three of them on one section of the wreath. I would not actually, so that the wreath would go like this and then you'd have this section like this and a bow or something. Um, I just think they're super, super cute. Ski lift, um, if you were, gonna give somebody I don't know ski lift tickets how cute to wrap this with them I can't think of anything right now but I just think they're super cute adorable and they would just be great on lots of things on a Christmas tree as an ornament because that's what they are just remember on these ornaments too you guys you can always personalize them on the back like use a sharpie paint marker or they have paint markers there at the Dollar Tree I use their this one's missing it's ski lift oh dang it oh well maybe it's in a bag be hopeful. Um, okay. Then there was these ornaments. I know I already shut you off. I don't know why it's beeping at me. There's these ornaments. So, okay, there's two different types. Now, I'm not going to take credit for this. This was totally Nancy. Nancy came up with this idea. Um, so, they're kind of cute. And they. she's making snowmen. I think she already made one, actually. So, just to put them together. And I said, yeah, you can make a Mr. and Mrs. Snowman, right? There's three. I got, there's three. I got two, three sets or two sets of each one. So I'll have one extra ball. Boom, boom, boom. Um, see that? Make a snowman out of that and then make Mrs. Snowman out of that. Be cute, right? So that was Nancy's idea, not my idea, but I, I steal ideas. I borrow them. I copy the greatest form of a compliment ever. Two trees. I ran into two and only two. I could only find two and these are them and I love them. I don't know why I love these so much, but I do. I just think they're so pretty. And they're ombre, right? They're so pretty. I just love it. I don't know what I'm doing with them. And maybe they're just gonna go like in my on my major wall. I could just pop those in somewhere. Be super, super cute. Not sure. Look what I found. Da -da -bum. So mad at myself. I was like, why didn't I buy two? That's what that would say. Um <clears throat> I didn't, but let me give you an idea. If you, if you see these, I thought about it afterwards. I like, oh, I should have bought two. And then what I would do is take white ornaments and do white ornaments all around here and then put the two together. So there would be two frames with ornaments in between. Do you see what I'm saying? It was like three dimensionalized. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of that? I didn't, but it would be super cute idea if you want to try it. Um, I'm going to tell you, though, quite honestly, I think I'm going to do something super easy with this. And I don't think, I haven't seen this done with it. I'm going to use cotton balls from the Dollar Tree. Super easy. So the reason I'm going to do that is because I think it's something that you can do with kids and grandchildren. Be super easy. You have the frame and then just get them to glue um, cotton balls all over it. And then um, at, up here, I'm not sure. I'll think of something. I'll think of all the stuff that I'm going to use so it would make it super easy for kids. Well, we have like burlap ribbon, which would be really cute on the hat, actually. And um, they sell, we have the, the the dry flower things that they sell, which you can get a stick out of there. Or, 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 or cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks, which you can buy there. So cotton ball, cinnamon sticks, burlap ribbon. I think it'd be super cute. It's a cute little kids project. So there you go. That's an idea. And then I found these two. I don't know why I had to get them. Maybe it's because those dang bottle brush trees are in there. But so they, the bottle brush trees are not glued down, which I don't understand. So the bottle brush trees sort of roam around. It's like a, it's like, a, hey, I don't know why. Um, but I'm really thinking like I would take these apart and do something else with them. Like maybe glue down the bottle brush. Ooh, I wonder if the little truck. Oh, you guys. Oh, I might have to buy another one. I think the little truck would fit inside. Let's find out, shall we? Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. Wait, yeah, I like the silver tree. Um, okay, there's, I just took this off, so the cork comes off, right? 
So obviously I could empty the stuff out of this and then like glue my tree down in there so the glue, the tree didn't move. But let's see, let's just see if our little trucky fits in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. By the way, these are like rubber. They're not, I thought they were going to be like plastic, but they're not. Oh, wait, you could do it this way too, just FYI. You could do like, instead of a ship in a bottle, do a truck in a bottle. If you knew somebody that was like a Chevy truck or something like that, or a Ford truck lover, that's a very cute idea. Taking this out just to show you that. Look, you could totally do, first of all, you could personalize the truck and you could write Ford or Chevy on the back of it and then give them, and then just get little legs on this. So, you know, the little wood um, squares that they sell in Crafter Square, you could, okay, I got to play with this a little bit. It's a great idea though, you guys. I'd have to get the berries out of there. So you could do a truck in a bottle. But what I was looking to do was to put the truck on the bottom. I think I have to get the berries out of there. They're dumb anyway. And I think I have to get the pine cone out of there. We're gonna see if this will work. So let me get, pine cone, come out, please. Okay. I mean, I like the idea of this. I do like the idea of this. I just, they, it's kind of tchotchke, you know, you take it from Dollar Tree Drab to Dollar Tree Fab. That's kind of what I want to do with this. Will he? I need something to stick in there and get him to go down. Oh, look at that. He does fit in there. We probably have to get rid of some of the snow. So the truck fits in there. I'd have to get rid of some of the snow. Can you see that? And then can I still get, I think if I take the bottom off the tree, I could get the tree in the background. Yeah? It, I'm not doing it perfect right now, but you guys kind of get where I'm going, right? I think that would actually work, you guys. So, but I really like the truck in a bottle idea. That one's super cute. Instead of a ship in a bottle, it's a truck in the bottle. Okay, so there was two of those. There was a silver and there was a gold tree. And so I got one of each. I just thought they were kind of cool. But also, like, I feel like you could put a little message in here, like a Christmas message to send to a grandchild or something. Roll up a little scroll with a message in it. Put a cute little bow around this. All kinds of ideas for these. I love those. Then I did, um, I found, I was like, yay. I found two more of these. They're the 3D kits. I'm loving these because they have the slats on the back so you can make really cool little Christmas scenes out of these not necessarily using what there's another Xmas. I got to throw that away, but not, you don't have to use just what they give you because all of the wood cutout things that we have seem to fit in these slots. So I love them for that. Okay. In crafter square, I got these, I love the pearlized beads for ornaments on Christmas trees. Absolutely love that. And then in housewares, in housewares, I found those little Remember those little houses that I said I was going to make a manger out of one? Found one in metal. So I found two of these in metal. I love these. I think they're super cute. And when we talk about rub-on transfers that they do, that they have that are super small. So in the fall ones, for instance, like these little, the this one's not even good. But see how the little words, like, never mind. It doesn't work on there. Never mind. Forget I said that. Remember in the Halloween ones, they had the Halloween ones, ones that it was so small. But that would work on something like this. Like you could... You could rub that onto these. If you did rub onto metal though, run Mod Podge over it to seal it. And then this one, which I love this. Home Sweet Desert. I mean, I live in Arizona. Yeah. I was like, how cute is that? I absolutely love this. So I just picked this up for my own personal, it's going on my wall somewhere. And then um, one heavy duty battery. Guess what for? Guess right now, write in the comments what this battery is for. We all buy it. We all buy it for the same thing. Um, and a Day of the Dead um, car deodorizer thing. I want to open this so bad, but I don't need one right now for my car. But I did buy it for my car because <laughs> I did all those uh, Day of the Dead um, skulls and all that. Found the other uh, scented bombs that I bought some of these before, which somebody said they look like candy. That's probably why they're there. You're right. I think that is probably why they're there, but I did buy a set because I'm going to give it to somebody. It's cute as a gift, like a little gift basket for say a, a preteen or, you know, seven or eight, five, six. I don't know. Anyway, some bath bombs. So that's a gift idea. And then you guys, 
I have one t-shirt. So it, and it's got the stickers where the marks are. So just FYI. Um, and this one, it's so cute. It looks like a little boy. And so I'm trying to like in my DT threads, this is going in there. So maybe I can make a little boy t-shirt, something for um, part of the DT threads. Okay. But I did it again, you guys. I'm not even like, do I, I'm going to show you the different patterns, but let me just show you. Insane. I'm giving the best sock presents this year. I love this one. The fish bones on it. The best sock presents. Like everybody I know is getting amazing socks for Christmas. All right. So let me just show you. These are normally $8. I love the Argyles. I love these. And these are to wear with Oxfords. How stinking cute are these? They were $7. Um, these, I love the bones. They were $8, the fish bones. Some of these have glitter on them from the back. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped one. And then um, I think these look kind of piratey, actually. <laughs> like, and these were $8. Um, more Ar Argyle, just a different color. Also $8, I got three of those. And then I love these, too. And these were, I don't know how much these were probably $8 each. So I need a saying to put with my sock gift baskets. I can't think of anything like, um, uh, may your heart always be as warm as your feet will be. I don't know. I can't, I'm not coming up with anything. I have glitter all over from that bottle just now that I opened up. I need a sock saying to put with my sock gift baskets. Don't know what it is. Then I found Medipads. Now, I gotta look this up because I'm pretty sure this is like a name brand. I tried to see if I could get the price off the back. I can't. So this is extra cushion and seamless toe. Um, I'm actually gonna give these to Marcus because not that he doesn't have any issue it's for diabetes and symptoms, but it's got extra cushion. These felt super, super thick. And I thought, hmm, I'm gonna give it to him to wear under his work boots when we're, when we're up at the property and stuff like that. And then I found these. Another great sock gift and I for my brother-in-law, I mean my brother-in-law, for my son, for my two son-in-laws and for my own husband. Just said it, my own husband. I found Mossy Oak um, Sublimented Crew Art Support. Look at these two Mossy Oak socks. What? And I don't even know how much these were. I should be able to see it here. But the stickers like have that black on it so then you can't see the price underneath when you peel it back. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know they weren't a dollar. Like you literally know they weren't a dollar. So I'm super excited because this is, a, they get mossy, the son-in-laws get mossy oak socks and um, and Marcus does too. How cool, how cool. Uh, and I did see these in more than one store, just so you guys know, so. And obviously the gold toe socks I've seen in so many stores. So yeah, like it was a sock load, another sock load. <laughs> I need some clever sock saying for Christmas gifts. I don't know. And also the Nobleman um, deodorant wipes and the charcoal face and body cleansing wipes. I actually got these for us to take to the property. But on Tuesday, this next Tuesday, I don't know that I'm doing crafts again next week, you guys. I'm, I might need one more week. And I know you'll all understand. It was just the wedding. So, but I am doing gift baskets on Tuesday. So in Tuesday's video, for sure, I'm doing gift baskets with Amy. We're doing another collab where we're doing gift baskets. I got the cutest one. One of them is like super cute little idea, I think. So anyway, um, but it includes some, something like this in it. That's what made me think of it. So I did get these just for um, our, to take up to the property because it's a deodorant wipes. And I was like, huh, with aloe vera. Okay. Uh, oh, and I also thought, FYI, I did think about throwing this into his car because then he could, you know, if how many times we've all done it. You leave and you run, I didn't put on my deodorant, dang it. Actually, I don't wear deodorant, but I know that it happens because I have children and husband. So um, I was thinking like, these might be a good thing just to keep in the car for him just in case. All right, is there anything else? I think that's it for this haul, you guys. It wasn't a huge haul, I know. But I'll be back. I think Tuesday I'm going to do another haul with a couple of gift baskets. Because uh, I don't think there's any way we're going to get the backyard cleaned up today. And get everything all set up so that I can go back to doing crafts. So that's really the big issue. is like getting everything put away. Because the garage, I can't even put my car in the garage right now. So, but I am going to show you something. Don't go away yet. I'll be right back with a post-wedding craft I want to show you. Okay, so this is the first post-wedding craft. 
So I bought this pirate ship at Hobby Lobby. I think I showed it to you guys when I first bought it. So I rode on it, the Marmee, 111321. That's Marcus and Amy, they call us Marmee. And this was the stamp that I used to, to stamp all of the scrolls for the wedding invites. So this was a uh, like a pin that we bought at Disney World at the Pirates of the Caribbean. So all I had to do was drill a small hole in there and then I just like used, it's actually a Mickey Mouse backing right there. Can you guys see it? Actually, I'll take it off and show you guys. So I had him drill a small hole and then I just put the pin in there. See, just cause then I still have, I can still like show, you know, that it was a pen from Disney World on my ship. Anyway, that's my first, it's not my last, but it's my first post wedding um, little craft. So here's the Marmee, 1113 of 21. Hope you guys like it. Hey! All right, that's it. Have a great day, a great week, a great life. Tell me what your favorite thing from this haul was or your favorite idea that I have. And um, as always, from your sing and crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. I'm gonna include right now just a quick little video of the backyard cleanup that we still have to do so you guys can see some of the leftover stuff. And I think I forgot to say, I don't know if I told you guys, Bargain Mama didn't make it to the wedding because she got exposed to COVID, which was so, uh, I was like, dang it. But, um, so I think she's doing fine. I don't think they got sick at all. Anyway, but better safe than sorry. So, uh, yeah, so here's a quick little video of what we're cleaning up today. And I'm not sure you guys ever saw the pirate ship completed. I need to put video, I need to show you a video of it at night because it's like amazing. And I think we're gonna try and shrink it down a little bit and make it permanent so we can store pull toys in there. All right, so let's go from this pirate ship and I'll go show you the pirate ship outside. And then I'm off. So from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Bye guys, I love you. Besties, goodbye besties. Okay, so this part of the yard really didn't get too destroyed or anything. Um, tablecloths and stuff but there we still have like look at the ship did you guys guys I don't even know if you guys saw it all done um and then we're still say hi Marcus we still have to take down the the there's still booze at the bar <laughs> there's still cactus coolers um hey there's the there's the flag you guys with everybody's signature on it it came out so cute so we're gonna hang that up today there's all the leftover candlesticks and candles and all that and and oh my gosh, so I don't know if you guys could tell in the video, but we had the entire wall lined with Captain Morgan bottles and they had glow sticks in them. So it looked really cool, but this is all, yeah, there's a lot of leftover stuff. But then when I'm all done, I'll actually show you guys the backyard like totally put together. So we have to put everything back where it goes. So let's look at well, the pirate ship because it's so cool. Oh my gosh. So there it is and it lights up. The mask lights up. Look at all the Dollar Tree stuff on here. By the way, those are Dollar Tree lanterns, right? Um, those are Dollar Tree, uh, see the scrolly things right there? Those there were chandeliers. They were paper chandeliers in the party area. I cut them up and made them like scrolls on there. There's my banner. Remember the banner that I made from the little um, treat canvas bags? Those are our Dollar Tree windows that light up at night. There's, I made that set. That's a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. And then see, people could sit here and stand on there and take photos. So it was super cool. I will include next week, I'll include a video of it at night so you guys can see it because it just, it's so cool. He did, Marcus did an amazing job. And actually the flag up there that you can't see right now, that's from one of the Dollar Tree vests. Okay. All right, guys, we'll see you back here on Tuesday.